Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews, and as you can see by the boot animation, this is AOS IP Derp Fest for the OnePlus 5T. Uh, we're going to go over this today for you. Uh, thank you Bob is on for the use of the OnePlus 5T. We really do appreciate that. It does help out our channel a lot. Before I go any further, I want to go through some of the apps. I want to um, tell you right off the bat that the G apps are not uh, needed. You don't have to flash them. They come right with the ROM pre-installed. Uh, I do have other apps installed on here because I'm testing the game uh, function, uh, stuff like that. Also, I have icon packs installed, and that's because this ROM, it's its launcher allows me to run custom icons and that's really the only reason I run Nova Launcher and that is for uh, being able to run custom icons I like to change my look you know whenever I uh, whenever I can so when we come back uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig into AOS IP Derp Fest for the OnePlus 5T As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. And we're back. We're going to go over AOS IP Derp Fest for the OnePlus 5T. Uh, the first thing I wanted to get out of the way is the launcher on this thing. Uh, it, has an, it has a launcher, like pixel launcher on it. Uh, you know, and the, the theme that I'm running with the home launcher allows me to run this as black, which is really, really cool. I am going to show you that. Um, so if we press and hold on the home screen and go into home settings, uh, you guys can see right there under theme, this is going to be where you can change the look of it. Uh, icon packs, you can actually run with custom icon packs. Uh, right now I'm running with Saturate. Uh, I could switch it to Ruggos Premium and it is now running. Ruggos Premium. Uh, we'll go back back and back again and that is Ruggos so that's what Ruggos premium looks like and if we press and hold it again go back into the home settings and under theme if we scroll down a little bit you can see where it says theme uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on that and you guys can see all the different options you can choose um, you know to set up a theme uh, anything from light to light gray to white if you if you like it's all there I, th I thought that was pretty cool I thought you know I'd let you guys see that um, now the one thing I want to bring up right now before we go any further notice my status bar there's nothing there I don't know if that's built in the wrong or if I have a setting wrong in here somewhere uh, but I can't see my status bar now it'll pop up eventually sometimes it does and for the most part I can't see it so uh, again I'm not sure what's going on with that but I wanted to bring that up uh, I am also not running with a sim card and the reason I'm not is because I just don't feel like editing I don't feel like editing out my phone number I, you know I'm just gonna tell you guys I'm on Verizon so this phone is not supposed to work for Verizon but I actually connect 3G uh, I, I've made several phone calls with it received several texts Everything works uh, as far as that goes. But again, um, with that caveat at 3G, this is the uh, OnePlus 5T. And if we scroll down, you can see my SIM slots are showing you know, no response because I don't have a SIM in it. Now you can see my status bar up there. So you can see all the corrections I've made and stuff like that. Um, and if we scroll down and tap on Android uh, 9, that brings up the uh, Derp Fest page where you can see Android 9 tap on that and you can see the Pi uh, Easter egg and we're gonna go ahead and go back there's your build date security patch date uh, your baseband version and kernel all right I know you guys really want to get into the custom settings on this so we are gonna go ahead and go right into the owls nest uh, first up is status bar and first up in status bar you have your battery percentage battery style uh, I'm running with big dot if you swipe to the right that brings up carrier label uh, then comes the clock um, we have show seconds uh, your alignment they give you right left and center AM PM date date style date format and date position 
Swipe to the right brings up your status bar icons. And here is where we can pick and choose what we want to show on the status bar itself. You can run with the Chronic logo and these are all the different options they give you for that. Quite a few options for that. Um, use old mobile signal and then your Volt icon. Swipe to the right brings up network traffic display and your traffic indicator placement. If we click on that status bar or expanded header. That's it for status bar. We're going to go into the quick settings next. Uh, you have your quick settings opacity. Um, if you slide the bar this way, it's going to allow you to see through it. Right now I have them showing solid. So you can't see through it. You have your brightness slider, bottom brightness slider, your adaptive brightness button, brightness control button, quick play, quick pull down, your smart pull down, and then under expanded, you have vibrate on touch, your animation style, which I have on rotate, and then fast, and linear. Now custom headers, this is really cool. If we go under custom headers, you can enable it or disable it. I have it running. Uh, your header provider, you can choose from, uh, you know, the image collection, a static image, or a custom image. You know, if you want to run a picture maybe that you've taken, uh, click on that, choose the picture, crop it, and it'll go into your status bar. Uh, I'm running the header images, and then under the header image collection, uh, these are what's there now. Bear in mind that I installed J-Rod's header pack from the Play Store. Uh, it is free to download and you get a ton of different headers. Now some of them aren't quite sized right but they still look good to me so I'm running with, uh, with those. Then you have browse installed headers. It's going to show you the header packs uh, that come with this device. And then on the bottom you have your header image shadow. Uh, then we have show information header and show security footer. Next up is going to be notifications. Uh, you can click to enable that. First up is ambient music ticker. You can click to enable that. If we swipe to the right that brings up your battery LEDs. And yes everything's working as far as I can tell. Uh, heads up is up next. Uh, you can click to enable that. Make heads up less annoying, <laughs> how about it? Timeout, snooze timer, your stop list and your blacklist. Swipe to the right brings up notification. Uh, kill app button, you can turn on your toast app icon. Uh, and then noisy notification if screen on. Next up is going to be navigation. Uh, allow navigation bar and then pixel animation. And then gestures underneath. And it's, it's grayed out because I'm running uh, with the standard Oreo navigation. Now if I would tick that off, um, then gestures comes up. And then you can set that up however you like. Uh, I don't like to run gestures, so I leave that on. Uh, they do give you the uh, pixel animation with that too. Uh, that takes care of navigation. Next up is going to be hardware buttons. Uh, first up is going to be your power button. Uh, you have to click on the reboot button or it won't show in the reboot menu. Uh, it'll just say power off. Uh, you have your advanced reboot. You can add screenshot and then you can disable the power menu on the lock screen if you want. And swipe to the right brings up the volume keys. Uh, you can basically customize your volume keys to do pretty much what you want. Now this is another area that I just don't touch. Uh, I like, you know, I just like to leave my volume keys the way they are as flash. Next up is going to be your recent settings. And first up is your recent style. I'm running Oreo. You can run Pi if you want, but I like the Oreo recents, so I'm gonna keep it there. This is the way I like my recents to look, kind of like a Rolodex. Uh, but if we go Pi, again, it's gonna give you that iOS look. And Google is doing whatever they can to make it look <laughs> to make their ROMs look like uh, iOS. So uh, you can choose custom icon pack in your recents if you want. 
And then if you're running Oreo, you have your Oreo Recents options, uh, clear all button and clear all location. And they give you the six uh, different positions that you can choose from. And next up is going to be lock screen. First up in lock screen is your shortcuts. Uh, and they give you left and right that you can change. Uh, charging info, media, cover art, your lock screen album art filter, and clock widget. Uh, you can turn that on or off. Uh, items underneath the clock and your clock style. You can choose uh, quite a few different uh, options here for your clock widget to look like. I'm just running default. Then you have your text clock alignment. They give you left, center, and right. Disable quick settings when locked. Again, that's the uh, second time I've seen that so far. Fingerprint authentication vibration. Face auto unlock, which uh, this device, because it's a OnePlus, uh, does have that feature, uh, which is pretty cool. If you want to run with it, go ahead. I haven't tested it, uh, so I can't tell you guys how well that's working, but it's there. Uh, quick unlock and then scramble layout uh, for those of you that, that like to uh, uh, lock your device. And next up is going to be gestures. First up under gestures is AOSP gestures. Uh, basically your settings for AOSP gestures if that's what you're running. Uh, swipe fingerprint for notification. Uh, jump the camera. Activate the torch. You know, you can turn the torch on with the uh, with the gesture for that. Swipe up on the home button and then prevent ringing. Uh, you have your brightness control. Three finger gesture. I love that. I have it turned on. You swipe three fingers down. It takes a screenshot. And then you have double tap to sleep. They give you two options. Lock screen and status bar. Next up is the advanced settings. And first up is app ops. If you guys know what to if you guys know how to use app ops, it's a really cool thing to have. Uh, it's there. Uh, then we have show CPU info. And then you have your sensor block per package. Uh, alarm blocker. Uh, wake lock blocker. Suspend actions. Guys, the alarm blocker, wake lock blocker. I would not mess with that if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you can really mess your phone up, especially with the wake lock blocker. Um, but hey, it's there. It's there if you know what you're doing. <laughs> have at it. Uh, then blink flashlight on call. I love this. Uh, I always have it always on. Uh, but that's just what the way I like it. Uh, they do give you uh, blink flashlight only uh, in ringer mode and then blink flashlight only in DND mode. Um, again, I run always blink flashlight. And next up is your in-call verification options. Uh, you do have vibrate on connect, vibrate on call waiting, vibrate on disconnect. And then uh, corners is down on the bottom. Uh, you can switch the way your phone looks uh, you know, as far as corners go, uh, I'm running stock values, uh, but you can use the framework values and then uh, adjust them as you want. That is it for the custom options. Um, I am going to go ahead and hit display quickly uh, because I want to let you see the, uh, the theme. And under device theme, uh, you have your, you know, wallpaper, you know, wallpaper based and dark and light. I chose dark uh, and when you choose dark, it allows you to use a black AF theme as opposed to just a dark gray theme. I love that. Uh, so I'm running that. Remember, this is an AMOLED screen. The more black you have showing on your screen, the better you are saving on your battery. Um, accent color, you can get in there and change that. Uh, these are the material uh, palette right here. This is the material palette right here. These are your different color options. And then uh, user requested is underneath that. I'm running with uh, I'm running with yellow up here. I'm running this one here. And underneath that, you have your quick tile style, and you can. There's quite a few options here to choose from. I'm running the one on the bottom. I think it's called Mountain Scene or something like that. Uh, but you can change the quick tiles to look you know the way you want them to look which is another feature I that I like a lot and then you have your font size and your display size you know basic stuff that comes with every ROM the only thing I want to show you under sound is link your notification volumes or unlink it and again I wish every ROM came with that I wish that came with the stock 
uh, ROM. A lot of people like to run with the ringer turned up, notifications turned down, you know, or vice versa. That's all I'm going to go over uh, as far as settings go. There's nothing in the developer options that I think you guys uh, are going to be interested in. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, this is AOSIP Dirtfest for the OnePlus 5T. Uh, what do I think of it? Well, uh, I think it's a solid ROM. Uh, everything's been working on it 100% for me so far. I haven't missed any calls. I haven't dropped any text, anything like that. It, when I'm out and about, you know, everything seems to be working. Camera's working great on this. I don't have any footage to show you guys, um, but uh, you're going to just have to take my word for it that everything that comes with the camera that's supposed to work is working great. Other than the status bar issue, you know, where nothing's showing in the status bar for me, uh, I can't come up with any, any cons. Uh, it doesn't have as many custom features as I would like. Again, I still say the number one ROM out there so far is MSM Extended, but then that's for me. You know, not everybody's cup of tea is a ROM that is packed full of super custom features where you can change every, you know, item on the ROM. Some people like to go minimal or a little over minimal. Like, I would call this a little over minimal. You know, it's got quite a few features on it. So, uh, that, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, I say give it a try. Uh, good on the developers for this. They did a hell of a nice job. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, uh, think about subscribing. Uh, it does really help me out a lot, uh, especially when you guys hit that like button. And leaving a comment below, that helps me out a lot too. I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more videos coming. Things are starting to slow down on the custom ROM scene. And then remember guys, I only have a Nexus 6 and a Nexus 6P now that I can flash custom ROMs to. So until I get a new device like a OnePlus uh, or something like that, uh, we're going to be sticking with whatever they put out for the Nexus 6P. If you guys have an idea uh, for a video that you would like to see, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. That's all I have. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.